Chairman Christy Knowles, who is detained in traffic uh, in Birmingham. Uh, I, I want to welcome all y'all to this unveiling ceremony. Uh, there's lots of board members that are here, and if you are a board member, if you'd raise your hand. Good attendance. And there's a lot of former board members that are here. The Gaston Coastal Arts Foundation is a public-private partnership. Uh, our uh, public partner is the city of Gaston, and, and they're about 20% of our budget. Um, the private part is a, a large amount, and it, and it comes from some income, earned income from the door, but it, it exists largely on contributions and gifts. We are here today to celebrate the creation of art and to honor the, not only the sculptor, but our, our donors, Dr. and Ms. Gafari, uh, who have made this possible. Uh, if the mayor has a few things to say, if he would come forward, we'll, and there are other, <clears throat> well, Thank all of you for being here. Uh, I can't tell you how much more the cultural arts has improved in the last 25 years than when it first started and all the things that, for kids and adults, there's just all kind of programs. And I would like to ask y'all to come up and have a little present for you. Since then, it grew, it became solid, and became the Mary Harden Center of Cultural Art. Now, this center is uh, like a lighthouse in the middle of the city. It shines its knowledge all over, and uh, the education here is not taught in regular schools. It is a higher degree of education that elevates the city to a higher level of civilization, I would say. Uh, I am proud of the Cultural Center and I hope it keeps standing all the time. So the city of Gaston, I would say uh, we are grateful so I've come here and lived our life. We have been happy here. We gathered a lot of friends and uh, we grew old. And now we are trying to uh, give back a tiny bit of contribution to the city of Gaston as, uh, as a thank you to the city of Gaston. To the public, which Without you, we have not done anything. We are completely ignorant of the business of art. 
Thank you all for coming for this activity. So now if Casey would, Casey Downing Jr. is the, the artist. We've been working about 18 months on this uh, project and Casey probably has a few words to say about our sculpture. This, is, this has been a real great uh, experience for me. Uh, I really enjoy this and getting involved with the community and all this, and this community has made it very enjoyable. And uh, it's, the sculpture is about children after they leave class and they're waiting to be picked up. And they're out there, and the violinist starts playing the music, and the dancer starts dancing to it, and the artist is sitting there drawing the dancer. So it just shows that interconnectedness between the arts. And uh, anyway, I'm just uh, thrilled to death that, that I got to do this, and uh, I hope everybody enjoys it. Thank you. Thank you. So it's almost time for the unveiling, and uh, we, I figured that we could maybe do a toast inside here and then go out and we'll unveil it instead of staying so long in the, the hot summer. So we've got some champagne coming for y'all in the, the, the back row can go fetch their own glasses. Uh, <laughs> while we truly this. You can't find enough words to say how great this project is. This project gives a new way of looking at the Center for Cultural Arts. I mean, we still the beacon on Broad Street, but we're stronger than ever because now, underneath that beacon, we have three musician, a musician, a violinist, I mean, and a, a dancer and, and, a, and a visual artist. It, if a picture's worth a thousand words, I don't know how many words a sculpture, which is three-dimensional, is, is worth, but more than that. And we're getting close to being ready to have our champagne toast. They really didn't think we'd keep this to 15 minutes. <laughs> Rapidly filling glasses. So those behind the front two rows can go get a, a glass of champagne and we'll make a toast. They're out on the table back there. And a toast. A toast first to the the two newest key holders of the city of Gadsden, one toast for having a key to the city, another, co another toast to the creation of art and the will that it took to create it, and a toast for generosity. Here, here. Y'all will have your champagne 